Okay, you asked for this video. I'm going to show you um, what it looks like going past. I'm just going to choose a good angle. Let's say that's probably about good angle enough. Um, let's do it. I have to run to the bike. Hello and welcome to the Jordan Richard YouTube channel. Uh, I'm in the shed again. Um, it's a bit cold and wet today to go out on the bike. Um, there's quite a few showers coming in, well, through the day. Um, so I want to explain, I had the second service on this beast um, yesterday. Um, so she's all done for another thousand miles. Um, yeah. Um, I'd like to explain a few things, um, a couple of comments I had, um, one to do with the electrics, um, the one, one down below these, well this one out, um, my Venom, I had no issue at all with the electrics at all, um, I went out f for two winters with that Venom, um, cause I had it for the first winter, but the end of the summer, no, in the middle of the summer I bought it. Um, and then I went through the whole winter, cold, freezing, wet, the lot. And then I had another s summer with it, and then I had a winter. Um, I'll try to post um, a picture of the Venom in this video. I'll try to get one up. But I had no issue at all with that Venom at all. Um, only one downside with the Let's Mary Venom was the cables um, kept snapping. Like I, um, the clutch cable snapped at me. Um, had the foot cable snapped on the Venom. Um, that's the only issue, and it went through a lot of sprockets. Um, then again, when I got rid of it, it done 14,000 in eight two years. Um, but, like I say, um, I enjoyed that bike. I went everywhere with it. As you can see, it's a bit windy. Um, let's shed open just to get a little bit light. I've got a light up top here. Um, but yeah, it's freezing today. Um, this shed is does keep the warmth in when you got the door shut and all. I will buy a cover for this to keep her nice and warm. Um, yeah, she's done. Yeah, he didn't even wipe all the oil and all off the fucking fairings. Fuck sake. I'll clean it up later anyway. Well, when I take it out again, I'm assumed it. No. Um, yep, yeah, so he's done the complete service on this. Um, like I say, the electrics, they're very, very well covered. Um, you got electrics under the seat, which I'll take off in a minute and show you. Um, all the electrics under the tank and all are well covered. They're all sealed up, the lot. Um, where I look at things, if you look after the bike, clean it, maintain it and all, um, you shouldn't have any issues with it. Um, thing with me, if I know something needs replacing or something's going, I just go out and buy it, um, get it replaced before it actually does go. But touch wood, um, had no issue with electrics yet. But it's all I don't know. Maybe yes, yeah, some Let's Motos do have electric troubles. I know the first ones that come out when they first started Let's Moto, um, they had a lot of issue and crap. They kept falling to bits. But now they've come a long way. It's 2018 and they just brought out the LXR 125. Um, looked like a 250. Uh, it's a massive Geek 125 for obviously its size and all. Walk around a minute. See, yeah, like I say, it's Tower's winter now. Oh, see, I still haven't cleaned the shed out yet. Been working. Um, leave that thing over it. But yeah. Um, the oil filter's here, next to the water pump, 
Um, it doesn't need to clean. I think I fried with a couple of others yesterday. Um, I've been answering your comments uh, through. Is I still got a couple more, well, a few more to answer. I'm getting down for it. God, man, he didn't. Look at that. I need to give her a clean. He said he took all the ferns and all off, checked all the um, bells on the bike. Yeah, um, yeah, she's still working. I've done how many miles? 998 miles, dead on. Um, like I say, you can get a better b bike for the price what I paid for it. Um, it runs perfect. So yeah, that's the thing about the electrics. I'll show you the electrics under the tank. Uh, under the tank, under the seat. Um, I didn't realise how much oil and crap is left on this bike. Um, all these greasy hands. I'll flip the seat off. Um, I haven't actually took the seat off. Uh, where's the thing? The key bit's right there. Just whoop. Yeah, I need two hands, hang on. Hang on a second. There we go. Put that in there, nice and safe, don't get damaged. Okay, that's what's under the seat. Um, if you wanted to know, there's the fuses, they give you spare fuses if one goes. Um, not much under here really. Um, and... If you want to take this seat off, I think you have to take the tank off, he said. Um, I think, I don't know, all these side panels, because there's two bolts there to hold that down. Um, but yeah, that's under the seat. No much, you've got the heated things there for the air vents and all, so... Yes! But that's that. Right, on. Right, the next question was... Um, through the winter I should um, grease everything up, make sure it's all so it don't rust. Yep, I was planning on doing that anyway. Um, I just ain't got round to it. It's, this shed's really dry so, like I say, it shouldn't. It will get damp at night obviously with the dew, all sheds do, unless you've got heated inside. Um, like the big shed my dad's got. Um, that's got heated stuff and all in it. But yeah. What I'll do is give that a lovely little coat of grease um, in in where all the bolts and all are. Um, just to make sure she's all, well, basically all fine um, through the winter. Make sure nothing rusts. I'll give her a proper good clean, give her a nice polish to the whole lot um, before I do it. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, anyway, um, sorry about that, I've got, probably cut that bit out anyway, so you won't know, know what happened, but, um, yeah, she will be greased up, um, so she won't rust, like I say, they made these better, so they won't rust as much as the older ones, um, saying that, my Venom, the only issue I had with it, when riding in the rain, it wasn't really an issue, but it rust. On the these are not these are fine, but on the front forks, um, when they got wet on the front on down below, because um, it was open, they weren't protected. So decided to put grease all on the forks so she didn't rust. But she did rust a little bit on the front forks, but not as well. It wasn't bad, bad, but. If you're riding a bike on all weathers, yes, I do agree with greasing it all up, making sure she don't rust. So when come to the summer, you can just wash all the grease off and she'll be shining like a brand new one. Yeah, I do agree with that. I probably will do it at some point just to put a nice little thin air thinness on it. Um, obviously, it won't be thick, but nice as thin. Um, so that's that one. I say, um, loads of them. I, I have ripped back 
um, to most of you. But I will do a video every week that's, um, God, crikey. That's annoying me. That's better. And there. Uh, yeah, um, I will be doing a, well, sort of a Q&A about the bike. Um, like I say, um, this is going to be the last video till next week on the bike. Or I might do one more um, in the week sometime. Um, so... The next, after this video, the next three videos will be tractors. So I know quite a few of you don't like watching tractors. Um, but I have got loads of videos to put out on the computer. So I just want to get clear some of them. Um, then I'll do a bike video every two days a week, three days a week maybe. Um, I have been putting loads out on the bike anyway. Um, but yeah. That's all I say. Thank you for the views. Thank you, thank you for the comments. Um, I've got. Um, I did video the front of it, going past a little bit. Um, so that'd be the new intro. You'll see that at the beginning of the video. So like I say, please carry on comment. Um, and if I don't write back, I'm sorry. I will get to your questions eventually. <coughs> Excuse me. No, that's all throat anyway, so it ain't best at talking on the camera. Um, so yeah, I will get to your questions. Like I say, it's quite slow because I do get them through and I do look, but I just need to write, write back, which I ripped back to quite a few of you now. Um, like I say, I hope that cleared up the electric thing. Um, like I say, you have to be careful with electric and water. Obviously, if they're not covered up properly, you're going to have issues. Um, that's any bike you have. If your electrics aren't covered properly, you're going to have a big issue. Um, but yeah. So thank you for watching this video. And I will see you in the next one.